All right. I thank you. I appreciate that. Oh yeah. No, that's that's fine. It's uh I just wanted to to uh um like I said jump on this so we don't have a replay of last time. So you'll call you call me back this evening sometime then? Or Okay, all right, I appreciate that. All right. You you too. You too. Bye. Um hello whoever is uh seeing this right now. Oh my god. There we go. Uh yeah, phone call ran a little long there. Um <laughs> so figured I'd you know turn on the camera right when I said I was gonna be here just in case somebody was going to uh actually you know be here. So hello. Oh, I see Life Giant Films is out there. Um, hello. Uh, you leave some really cryptic messages on the uh, on the videos. Not always entirely sure what you're talking about, but that's <laughs> that's on me. <laughs> but hi. So, like I said in the in the video title. Um, I love eggnog, and I'm just going to be drinking some eggnog just because it's that time of year, and it's an excuse to go on YouTube and make an ass of myself and maybe entertain along the way. I guess we'll see. It'll be entertaining for me because I like eggnog, and I'll be drinking eggnog. Although two out of three of these, they don't call themselves eggnog. They're just nog. Um and I'm gonna get all uh, all all fancy and uh, uh, sommelier about this, I guess. Whatever. It, what 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 do you call a wine taster? I have no idea. A wine taster. So you know, I have a glass for each type of eggnog I'll be trying, and I also sadly I oh. That's that's terrible that uh, you are eggnog deprived down there. Well, I guess I was eggnog deprived living when I was living in Denmark as well. Uh, in fact, I don't remember having eggnog until I came back to the States and then immediately fell in, love, fell in love with it. But I think they would have it in. I think they probably have it in, in, in England as well. I don't know. Uh, or maybe they just have punch, which packs a punch, Christmas punch. So yeah, glass for each kind of eggnog. Take a little swig of water in between the uh, eggnogs. Oh yes, I need to do this too, huh? Be all fancy. So anyhow, I just kind of jump right on this. And yes, and hello, Jesse. Uh, didn't mean to not say hello. Um, but the first thing I'll sample is actually real eggnog. And it's light eggnog because I am trying to be all, I'm trying to pretend that I'm being healthy. In fact, the other two are also things that will let you be, pretend even more that you're being healthy because one is coconut milk, the other one is soy. I will admit what soy drinks I've tried, I have not liked at all. Uh, same thing, soy coffee creamers, don't like them. Um, so we'll see how the uh, soy nog goes. But yes, this real eggnog, it's light eggnog in the sense, probably there's less, it says here, 81% um, less fat and 33% less calories than a regular eggnog. And that would be regular Lucerne eggnog. Half a cup is 120 calories. So you'll watch me getting fatter by the minute while I'm doing this. Boo on the light eggnog. Yeah, well, I was in the store looking at him and going, I'm trying to be good. Should I be good or should I just say it's Christmas and just, and just get the high high octane eggnog? Um, were you saying boo to I me mean, not liking soy milk? But we'll see if I like the soy eggnog or not. So this, yeah, 120 calories for half a cup. Uh, 
cholesterol, 4% of daily allowance of sodium, 21 grams of total sugar. Oh, and there's no dietary fiber, so I guess that's... <laughs> yeah, soy or light. Like I said, I, I part of me was thinking get real eggnog because uh, it's the, you know, not quite the first eggnog of the year, but it's the first that I will be drinking for the entire world to see when they find this chat, this, uh, this recording at some point in the future. Uh, so yes, here is the Lucerne eggnog. It has a nice, uh, nice color to it. So it looks certainly eggnoggy. Um, oh yes. And of course, when I was reading off ingredients, I guess I should have finished that, huh? Uh, let's see. Grade A fat-free milk is the prime ingredients here. Oh, and of course, high fructose corn syrup. You can't have a tasty drink without high high fructose corn syrup. Egg yolks. Uh, so yes, there is egg in the eggnog. That's also a good thing. Natural and artificial flavors, spices. Uh, turmeric for color. Some other words that i chemical ingredients can pronounce not going to try vitamin a all right there's vitamin a in here it's the second to last ingredient so healthy right yes healthy so let's see how it tastes all right it's light eggnog but it has the taste and the texture of the uh, high octane stuff you can see it even like, leaves a little residue on the glass. So, Lucerne eggnog gets a uh, bottoms up for me. Yum. If you're at a Safeway, because I think Lucerne is, uh, I think it's Safeway's house brand. I don't recall seeing them anywhere else. So they might also be at Albertsons. Or if they're going to merge into merge with uh, Kroger to be one cyberpunk dark future style megacorp, grocery megacorp, then I guess you'll find Lucerne everywhere. So since I seem to say so a lot, I think the next one I'll try. Yep, vitamin A, it's healthy. There's vitamins. Any vitamin is healthy, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> so since I say so a lot, I think I will try something that is apparently so delicious, if you can trust the box, it is so delicious holiday nog. So since there's no egg mentioned, I'm assuming it's got holiday instead of instead of egg in here. And on the box it says here, or see, it's not really a bottle it actually literally is a box it's square oops oh i just went way out of focus is that just me or is that everybody that's really bizarre hello oh looks like somehow screwed up the camera yeah it's everybody okay well um I guess this would be, let's see if I can actually fix this, because I don't even know. Yeah, that's in focus. <laughs> ah, wow. Oh, there. It reset. I guess I got to be careful about where I put things. That actually looks even more clear than it was before. Huh, okay. Well... That was sort of a visual demonstration of what happens when you put uh, rum in your eggnog and, and, and too much rum in your eggnog, I suppose. Yes, yeah, yeah that, 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 that was all intentional. And if I knew how to edit, I might edit that. But since I don't, it'll just stay in. Because this, this is a professional YouTube broadcast here. So as I was saying before the gods decided to... Uh, send me a sign and tell me I should really stop this nonsense. About to read the, bo the 
the cell the cell copy on the so delicious dairy free coconut holiday nog corp movement uh, my connection is unstable please try while we reconnect the connection reflects the broadcaster uh let's see so that is why they joined the b corp movement and then there's a registered trademark for its b certified whatever that means uh they are very proud of being a force for good and i say force for good loudly because uh right there see force for good so this force for good they are we're proud by paying fair wages to our employees oops i should probably get it on screen huh they're paying fair wages to their employees and committed to reduce our environmental impacts and more you can follow their journey on so delicious dairyfree.com slash transparency <laughs> uh i laugh because that must probably mean that my good buddy jose maria de castro probably drinks uh coconut holiday nog from so delicious because he's all about transparency as well so if anyone knows Chilito, please do tell him that uh he, if he doesn't already know about this, he should, because he would probably love it. Or maybe the next one, I don't know. We'll find, we'll see. Anyhow, so the coconut holiday eggnog. It has 90 calories for half a cup, as opposed to 120 calories on the light eggnog. Uh, da, 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 no dietary fibers. Total sugars are 15 grams, as opposed to the 25 in the other one. And that includes 15 grams of added sugar. Wait a minute. This doesn't make any sense. Did I misread that? No, I didn't. 30%. Oh, no. Actually, the sugars are the same. Whether you go coconut milk or light eggnog, same uh, 30 grams of sugar when you add them all up. So, okay. Well, off screen again. So what else do we have here in the ingredients? We have coconut milk as the top ingredient, which is probably a good thing. Filtered water, coconut cream, cane sugar. So this thing actually probably has more sugar than the other one. Sea salt. It's got sea salt in it. So mermaids would drink it too. Refrigerate after opening. Oh, actually, both of them have a matto extract, too. So maybe a matto extract is what gives it that nog flavor. I was going to look up what nog is, but then that phone call that I was in the middle of when you uh, came on or when I turned on the camera. Uh, so I'm going to try, uh, made it so I didn't look up what nog actually was. I figured, other than a Star Trek character, I think there was a Star Trek character named Nog. Anyhow. Let's see what this looks like when it's poured and I have, well, it seems a little, might, it seems a little thinner than the other eggnogs. Let's see, let's swirl it around. Oh, yeah, let's put it in the camera. People can see what's going on. Swirl it around. Uh, maybe it's not that much thinner, but let's see. Is it cinnamony? A tiny bit. It's got a little bit, I wouldn't say it's cinnamony. Um, Hmm. Actually, maybe you put that thought in my head, or maybe actually this 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 does taste a little more cin cinnamony than the. Hmm. Let me try. But yeah, I, I guess it could be described as, as as that. It's got a bit of a tang to it. Um. Yeah, I don't know how you. Since you've never had eggnog before it's hard to describe um cinnamony yeah that's that's good it's it's you know, kind of like spiced milk um i guess if you broke up a uh yeah yeah actually if you crushed up a spice cookie and stored it you know stirred it into some uh, milk okay Here's it. You, you, it did not get put in my head. Actually, the uh, coconut, 
the so delicious coconut nog does taste a little bit more has a little more of a cinnamon flavor to it than the actual eggnog and it actually as probably is not surprising it tastes actually it tastes more like just flat up flat out milk so it's more like like the coconut milk of the name but more like milk more than anything than the actual eggnog so again it's drinkable it's it's okay it's not as thick and it's not quite as doesn't have this the same kind of texture as the yeah actually it's funny you should mention mention that um because that was actually what well, that was that phone call I was on when I when I you you probably weren't here Dave but when and welcome welcome um phone call I was on was actually uh just that I I was actually expecting uh, a delivery by six o'clock and it wasn't here so I thought I'd check in on it and one of the things that is in that delivery actually was uh a bottle of of uh i forget the name now but it was it, it was a bottle of eggnog that that uh real eggnog if you will Egg, eggnog with liquor in it and since i don't actually have any rum i've never really tried this before but everything everything goes with vodka right so <laughs> so i actually was going to try to add some vodka to to to, to these and see how how that worked but i was going to drink them drink them straight first and then try it but you're right it should be rum i do not have any rum unfortunately at the moment all i have are a couple of varieties of vodka uh my good old tito's and then there's a uh i think it's a vanilla smearing off or something in the freezer i'd have to look but yes i agree with dave if you're gonna have make this real eggnog it would have to have some rum in there uh now this is the one that i'm actually the most frightened of just because i in the past like i said at the top i have found myself not liking anything with the name soy in it and here we have soy nog from silk uh silk actually makes some pretty good almond milks that i've had unsweetened almond milks that i've had uh i don't know that they'll be able to pull off anything up oh, yeah once i should learn how to keep things on the camera actually you know what i'm going to try to do i lose you guys trying to do this hopefully i won't but i meant i was going to do this i needed the monitor for something else uh because yeah if i do that i can actually better monitor what i'm doing i have two monitors and if i pull things over to pull things over to the monitor over there i can actually better see what I'm doing on the camera because when it's over here my own hand is in my face and I can't really see what I'm doing so again broadcast professional here uh clearly no I'm I'm learning this YouTube -y stuff as I go and you all get to watch me fumble around and I, I appreciate you stopping by so we now have silk as I said, they make good almond milk. I've never tried any of their soy products. What soy products I've had, whether it's been soy burgers or soy milk or soy anything. Soy sauce. I like soy sauce. But beyond that, I haven't been impressed with anything soy. So I have low hopes on this. Although they do tell me on the box. And yeah, this is another box. It's not a, not a carton, not a container. It's a box. And you can you know keep it on the shelf until you open it. Uh, it even says it on there. And it'll stay fresh seven to ten days in the fridge and so will the coconut milk one from earlier but this according to the box it's a holiday classic ring in the season with the notes of nutmeg and cinnamon and the smooth velvety flavor of silk soy nog so yeah there is a cinnamon touch to this so jesse your question was was a spot on it, it there is cinnamon so hopefully this will be even more cinnamony than the uh uh coconut one was yes it has a velvety flavor this soy nog does apparently 
Raise a festive glass or two. Our nog is made without eggs, and it's not eggnog, without eggs, without dairy, or saturated fat. And the other two, by the way, they had saturated fat. I just kind of skipped over those in the ingredients. And then they tell me that Sornog tastes best with family and friends. I have no family here. Well, I have friends, right? You guys are my friends out there. Yes. Virtual friends. Yes. Hello, virtual friends. You'll make this eggnog taste, this, this silk nog taste good. One hopes. Uh, let's see. There's uh, a recipe for, well, no, there's not. They just say nog creme brulee. The dessert not only looks beautiful, it tastes amazing. And this holiday showstopper takes only half an hour to make. Recipe at silk.com. So, yes, go to silk.com. Get yourself the uh, recipe for uh, nog creme brulee. And what is in this stuff? What is in this stuff is there's sodium, sugars, 22% of daily allotment, uh, 80, 80. You need to burn the stuff to make that. Yep, <laughs> you certainly do. Um, Yeah, creme brulee, that's, you always, that's just, that's just burnt. That's just, this has 80 calories for half, half a cup. So I've actually been going down the calorie tree too. The first one, the real eggnog, 120 gallery, calories, calories, 120 calories, uh, a half a cup. This one was the so delicious coconut nog was 90 calories. Now I am down to 80 calories per half cup. I wish I could say I had planned it that way, but not really. This was just purely coincidental. So let's see what, and well, you know what? I probably should do this first. Make sure, you know, shake it up a bit. It doesn't say on the, on the box you have to shake it but that's probably a better a good idea oh yes also says here should not be used as infant formula so yeah don't give your uh don't give your infants soy eggnog or soy nog it says it right there on the bottle so all right so oh well let's see here uh this looks even thinner than the other one than the coconut one All right, already I'm I'm uh, not sure that this is going to be one I'm going to appreciate. Well, bottoms up. All right, well, um, I think I can say that this is the third, well, not the third, the latest soy thing I've tried that I can't give any decent marks to. Um, A. Here, this is the glass with the non with the with the eggnog in it. You see how that leaves a nice little residue on the glass? Well, that's because it's it's thick like eggnog should be. And you know what, Jesse? And good for you for asking because I, I actually hadn't registered with me until you pointed out. But yeah, there is cinnamon and eggnog, and it actually is one of the flavors that are in there. Um, uh, one of my main coworkers uh, loves cinnamon, so she probably would have would have told me that if I had been if I talked eggnog with her. Um, but this is the soy nog. And you can see there's really not much in the way of any kind of uh, thickness to it. It doesn't leave any, 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 anything on the glass. And uh, yeah, Dave, um, 
this actually might be even though i said that the coconut nog would be someone should mention this to, Ch to chilito this might be the better one to point out to him because it's soy and i'm sure uh sure that's would be going for him yep nutmeg is definitely yeah see nutmeg nutmeg was a spice i could definitely taste in there but i had not noticed really the cinnamon uh the cinnamon notes until uh jesse pointed it out um he's down in australia they don't have fortunate sadly for him they don't have eggnog on the other side of the planet um or maybe that's just more proof that australia isn't real hmm? <laughs> no uh just anyhow so the soy nog yeah it's doesn't even have much of an eggnoggy taste to it um the reason i so started talking about the cinnamon again is that's really what this reminds me of, of more than anything it's uh cinnamon flavored milk it's not it's not terrible it's just not nog or eggnog i don't think but what this does mean is um this is why i will try this for the first time and see how that works and yeah as dave said this really should be rum but everything goes with vodka I mean, give me a give me a beverage that does not go with vodka. I, I'm, I'm certain that you can't. Now that I've said that, I'm sure somebody will. But I am sitting here thinking I can't think of one. So let's see how this works. Yeah. Okay. So the future use for this uh, soy nog, I would not recommend that you serve it and tell your guests that, oh, look, eggnog. No, this would be a coffee creamer. I think it would be a nice coffee creamer. Put it in coffee, get a little bit of milky, cinnamony flavor to it. Or you can mix it with, uh, with rum or vodka, and you'll have a nice little mixed drink. Um, yeah yeah by itself don't recommend it it's just bland it's uh, like i said cinnamony milk and that's about all that 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 can be said about that now since i'm putting vodka and things i might as well keep going there was the so delicious so delicious uh even though i fixed the screen i still go hey yeah look here um actually that probably is more or more handsome than than otherwise and more appealing to look at otherwise the so delicious up oh, oh boy um yeah i have to wait so the so delicious uh someone's knocking at the door of course um well actually i was going to put put uh we can make this even more professional broadcast i'm gonna run away um hello zxl uh as my moderator um will you entertain people while i go and see who since it just knocked again uh someone actually needs me to go see what the heck is going on so i'll be right back <clears throat> yes talk amongst yourselves please um i'll be back in a minute if i'm not back in a minute uh somebody dial 911. <clears throat> Okay. Yes. 
Yes, Jesse, you have it exactly right. Amateur hour. <laughs> um, especially since uh, they wanted the neighbor. They were facing the wrong direction. They needed to actually knock on the door right behind them. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, thank you for coming to the most professional broadcast on YouTube. Um, and on that note, I now I really do need fortification. So I'm going to put, again, no rum because I did not get my groceries. But we're going to put some of this in there and see what happens. <clears throat> What is black and white and red all over? Okay. Um, uh, ZXL makes a better host than I do. I'll grant him that. <laughs> uh, uh oh. So I just like made this a triple. Uh, this is like super strong vodka knock now because. Speaking of amateur hour, I just poured more vodka in the glass I was drinking from before because I put it next to the one I was about to use. So there we go. What is black and white and red all over? Um, I know the obvious answer is. I'm just hoping that it's not it. Uh, well, it could be a zebra that's been eaten by lions. Is that it? <clears throat> that's my guess. Anyhow, so this is the coconut nog, coconut holiday nog from So Delicious with a little bit of vodka in it. Let's see how that tastes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not, um, uh, I am not. If you're watching of these guys, I am not Blue Bacon. I am not, uh, oh, what's his name? Um, oh, this is embarrassing. He opens up every stream with a, with a salute to Schrodinger's cat. Um, wow. But no, not, not, a, not, are you coming to be in? <laughs> That word right there. Maybe I am inebriated on air. No, I don't think I don't think that I am yet. But uh, oh my gosh, Team Skeptic, Team Skeptic. Uh, although again, I don't think that he gets inebriated on air either. But it does seem occasionally that uh, Mr. Bacon does occasionally. Uh, I've had him running in the background on times, so and yeah, it, he does get a bit goofy toward the ends of his stream sometimes. So I wonder if he's not truly. Not truly hitting the sauce as he's recording. But this um, actually this actually this actually works much better than the the soy nog. So again, the soy nog loses out to the coconut nog. Um, I put some I put the same amount of vodka in it roughly and see it still maintains its nice little eggnoggy thickness. Yes, yes, uh, ZXL. Anything more than uh, anything with more than like two syllables, and uh, it's just it's just beyond me, even on good days. Um, so inebriated is not one of those words. Ah, I got it there. Inebriated, yes. So I could say it finally. Englishing is hard. It is so very hard. Um, so the coconut holiday nog. Uh, the holiday remains festive. Gets even more so when you put some vodka in it. So again, this makes a good good mixed drink. Probably even better if you had the rum to put in it. And let's. Uh, I've got the real eggnog here. Just to round it all out, we'll put it a little bit more in there. And I'm actually right on time. I was having to wrap this up by seven or so because i have uh uh one of my role-playing game groups will be meeting tonight at 7 30. We're, we're playing via discord and 
Uh, did I substitute with Bailey's? No, but I probably should. Um, no, it's just all I really have, like I said, aside from the, I have two, two, two varieties of vodka in the house right now. It's Tito's and the Schmier and a, and a vanilla flavored Schmirnoff. Um, and, uh, actually that's not true. There's a, there, uh, there's a gin that I have, uh, as well that I probably really should start drinking at some point. It's, uh, yeah. Eh. Regardless. Um, uh Oh, I did it again. Oh, there we are. So I was saying that, yeah, I was counting to wrap this up right around seven and looks like we're going to hit it spot on because the, uh, on the on because uh, the yeah meeting with my role playing game group one of my role playing game groups at uh, 7:30 yeah I'm a big geek I play role playing games uh, used to be my job to write them not uh, not play them that would have been kind of that would have been fun actually to have that as a job uh, and I gather some people since uh, the Tito's what proof is the Tito's the Tito's is uh, 80 proof. 80 proof and it's uh 40 percent alcohol and i keep yeah you guys see what i'm looking at that's why i'm holding it over here because yeah i don't know where the hell the camera is uh, again i'm learning as i go here so thank you for being here and let me practice on you uh okay i did put <laughs> I was going to say, did I put vodka in this? I couldn't recall, but yes, I did. Maybe I'm getting inebriated. Um, clock is two hours behind. Mine says 9 p.m. Yeah, I need to work on that. Um, I think my clock is 12 hours behind Jesse, if I recall properly. Um, and I don't know about Dave, if he's still out there. But interestingly... I said, uh, anything else with vodka? Either I put a little too much vodka in this, or real eggnog does not go with vodka. I have disproven my own theory live on camera. You guys need to call some scientists or something because, uh, uh, or mixologists. Uh, let's see. I think if I cut it a bit more with uh, a bit of eggnog, maybe that'll help. Although, yeah, I'm I haven't had a lot to eat today, and I probably should make this my last little bit of drink just because. Again, I'm not I'm not drinking a whole lot here, so I'm not getting drunk. Okay, I'm I'm not getting drunk. But no, I'm. But yeah, yeah, I. I just, I've been on the go all day, have had very little to eat. So this is almost an empty stomach. <clears throat> so let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is this is a, this is actually an interesting little little beverage experiment because while the vodka seemed to work very nicely with the with the coconut milk nog and was also okay with the soy nog it's pretty damn terrible the result when i put it in actual real eggnog actual real eggnog is yeah it's just awful tasty and dave says dark spiced rum is traditional yes yes it is and uh <laughs> All right, am I sure I wasn't practicing? No, no, I was not practicing. I should have, but I was not. Um, milk and alcohol mix okay? Uh, yeah, actually, I, I, I think they do. Um, uh, not exactly a secret. I think I've talked about it on, on my Facebook page a couple of times, and maybe even on one of the early YouTube videos I was doing just because I had something that needed something to talk about. Uh, White Russians, white Russian, uh, for me, used to be, oh, here's some vodka, here's some milk. Oh, look, white Russian. And a black Russian? 
here's some vodka, here's some milk, some chocolate milk, and here's a little bit of coffee, and oh look, there's a black Russian. Yeah, that was uh, that was my idea of, of, of how to make those drinks. Um, it still is actually uh, one of my favorite drinks to make when I'm making a drink is uh, unsweetened vanilla almond milk, Tito's or some other brand of vodka. Well, usually, usually Smirnoff or Tito's. Uh, sometimes there's this other uh, Svedka. Yeah, Svedka. I like Svedka as well. So it's Tito, Svedka, or Smirnoff. Um, and just have the the unsweetened vanilla almond milk, the vodka, and just over ice cubes. That is my typical my my typical drink. And I'm not sure what a curl curdle cur, curdles curlis. Uh, oh, they've been retracted. Okay. Uh, learning experience. I don't. I have to look up what that was. You were trying to talk about. ZXL because I don't know. I'm I'm pretty unsophisticated actually when it comes to to uh, beverages and and mixed drinks and such. Uh, screwdrivers, my own weird concoctions at home. And that's about the extent of it. Um. Actually, there are a couple of mixed drinks that, that, that I am familiar with, and they're the sort of kind that are embarrassing to order, so um, I hardly ever do. Um, chemistry helps. Yeah, I'm 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 sure it I'm, I'm sure it would. Uh, unfortunately, I'm a, I'm a I'm a simpleton with uh, two uh, two two. Uh, Humanities degrees to my name, each of which are absolutely uh, uh, pretty much useless for, for for jobs, except if you're going to go to work at, at, at Starbucks or um, in the field that I that I that I did work in. Um, I have uh, degrees in creative write creative writing and film studies. So yes, I'm unemployable twice. <laughs> Um, and on, and on that note, I'm going to have to run, but thank you guys for popping in at the end of all of this. I have to say that real eggnog still takes the cake over the, uh, funny kind or non milky, non eggy kind. <sighs> Once again, the soy beverage is at the bottom of the pile. And yeah, Jesse, I do feel sorry for you guys under, you know, un, un, down under. Um, even if you do have, uh, and of course, and I'm blanking on the bands. Uh, there's actually a couple of bands I really like that are from Australia. Um, Bailey's, yep. Actually, there is a Bailey's. I... I think I saw that on the shelf today. There's a Bailey's that basically is sort of an uh, that's an eggnog kind of thing. They have at least they have them here. Um, God, who recorded Wild Wild West and Working for the Fat Man? They're from Australia, whoever they are. At least I think they are. All right. Well, I am gonna go. So like I said, I gotta go game. But yes, don't unless you're looking for something to mix in your mix in things. Don't bother with the silk nog. The coconut milk holiday nog is uh, close second as far as if you want something holiday and tasty and eggnoggy. But this is definitely the one. And yes, I shall be drinking lots of eggnog over the next few days. Uh, or Faux nog as well, because, yep, all those open containers need to be emptied. And, yeah, there's also the open bottle of vodka. You know, that I can't let that go bad either. So, yeah. Anyhow, thank you, guys. Uh, I appreciate you stopping by. And uh, hopefully we'll chat again soon. 
And I am Pseudonog, yes. <laughs> and I'm going to push button number one and button number two, and we are clear. <laughs>